Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that... Morkvarg's gone, for good. Guaranteed, or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. Welcome to the Temple of Freya. I'm Kirisu. How can I help? You a novice? Because I'd never take you for a priestess. Truly? Hmm, you've got a good eye. Though a bit off in this case. I'm neither a priestess nor a novice. I escaped a pirate ship, was wounded. That's why I'm here. Sisters Astrid and Dala find me on the beach, near dead. They brought me to the temple, watched over me. I owe them my life. Quite the adventure. Got a home to go back to, or will you stay here? I've a brother in Ord Skellig. He's surely mad with grief searching for me. Once I'm better, all better, I'll find a longship and head home. So long. Hatred and strength. Why are you here? Could ask you the same. Places like this, usually home to necrophages alone. They're corpse eaters, aye. And they grow bolder by the day. Crawl out to attack the living. We'll kill them all. Clear the mine with our swords in our hands. Honor our fathers and do them so. I'm a witcher. Could go with you and help. And steal the glory to us? No chance. Glory won't do much for you if ghouls are gnawing on your bones. Hmm. When you're thinking it, makes sense. Hmm. All right. You lead the way then. Hey, where are you going? Drag the corpses outside. Burn them. Other ghouls don't scorn their cousins' corpses. Aye. True. It's good you came. Seems Freya watches over us to have let you here. We're grateful, and will be for long. <clears throat> Folk are generous with gratitude. Not so much with coin. Oh, hi. Sorry. Afterglow of the battle, we're still caught up. Damn you, slice them good. Here. For you. Thanks. Farewell. Not ah, you that switch. Brand those yeah. swords, but I prefer me trust the guys. Got me eye. Hey!
Greetings. Impressive tavern. Tavern? This ain't no tavern. It is the House of Warriors. Mm -hmm. So what do folk do in the House of Warriors? Fight? At times, one will take the other and give them a good slap in eye. But mostly, folk come here to drink, eat, warm their bones by the fire, chatter a bit. Maybe listen to a skull bay to the moon. About what folk do at a tavern. <sighs> ah, ye continentals don't understand a thing. Ye need some of our mead. Brood wisdom at us. What are you peddling? Let me have a look. Farewell. What'll they think of next? <laughs> did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm-hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his gin. Alright. So what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this gin. I've no gold to offer in reward. But I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. You mean to go back to work at the uh, mill? Uh, you gotta be kidding. You gotta. See, you've managed to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. I decided to risk it. Lead the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. The ship carrying the gin sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. Let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. Not sure this gin thing is a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. And lion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always. Not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't like you see why I shouldn't laugh at their amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. 
Asad I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. How's your bath? Water warm enough for you? How's it going? Yeah, you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? Wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside. Snapped masts, busted planks. And a whole swarm of drowners, probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew. Then make a nest here. There's also a clan drummed figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. Say we find the gym. What do you do? Ask for a beautiful house, and a palace, and a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gym? Have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in two points. Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. What do you have? A warhorn. Bearing clan Hamai. Got a chest. Really up now. That's what I call war booty. Have you found the djinn? No. But I found something that could be just as valuable to me as the djinn is to you. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Don't ask clan. Don't know the babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Long ship belonged to clan Dimon. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken long ships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the Golden Dragon and Avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. I 
something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. Something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell, to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see fortia bedem ein achter illivade. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always clean. I su fortia bedem ein achter illivade. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. Hmm. Something cut this basket exactly in half. cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon could do this, but whatever cut the basket probably could. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon could do this, but whatever cut the basket probably could. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Three. Said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look. We must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this djinn? But you already know. A djinn's power is priceless to a mage. Won't warm your way out of it. Not this time. Tell me the truth or I'll leave. You needn't resort to blackmail. You would have learned eventually. True, but after the fact. I want to know now. How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it? This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another. Or if we'll be like two strangers. Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. Centric, asking the djinn to lift half his ship to a mountain top. He didn't necessarily. Djinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in... Interesting. I wonder what this means. Mystery of mysteries, Agnes of Glanville. Elemental Empires, by Jean Batista. 
Nice shoes. Looks like Maybe he must have slept here. Was so what this means? The wearer right out of the blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Yen, I think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the Jin did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere to a mountaintop even. And the Jin granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Rif kaishta en daya. Kaishta et disglair. Divirad me kassel. while I draw him into the sphere. Care to trade places? over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed the djinn, but still. <laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhind suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. 
Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Well, I never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Jen might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. And I love you. Be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Think the spirits of Skellige favor us. See you again. Take care of yourself. <laughs> 